Hello guys, today I will be doing another doll review on the Moxie Girl Masquerade Ball Avery. I do realize that, you know, Moxie Girls are kind of out. Nobody really, like, as far as, like, young collectors, they're not really into them anymore, but I still like them. So every time I find them, you know, at you know, Goodwill or thrift stores, and some store, other stores even have them, like, there's, um, there's quite a few in big lots right now, and there are several in the dollar stores, so, but this one was the very first Moxie Girl I ever got. Actually, this one right here I found in the Goodwill the other day. The original doll that was wearing these clothes, the original masquerade doll that I had, well, I still have her, but her hair got so frizzy I had to cut it off really short. So, fortunately, I found another one in the Goodwill, and I knew it was her because of how her hair was done and the length of her hair. So, I'm going to start out with her hair. It's done in this unique style. I I boil washed her hair and I shampooed, conditioned it, and brushed it out. And it's not that frizzy. It actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And uh, her face is just like all the other Moxie girls with the uh, little heart shapes in her eyes and she has like brown and silver eyeshadow shimmery lips shimmery peach colored lips for Avery and she has blue eyes she's got like platinum blonde hair she's really pale and she's got rosy cheeks yeah mine my first masquerade ball Avery did not have blush on her cheeks, so I'm really happy with this one. And here's her dress. It's blue and pink, and it's got this zigzagged ribbon right there. And then we have the lace that has tinsel in it, sparkly tinsel. And then there's her little dress. And it's got, it's like a velvety type material, I guess you would say. I don't really know names of materials, but it's pink under there, and it's got, like, um, wave designs. I don't know if that's how you would, what, what you would call it. She's got lace on her, <coughs> on the end of her sleeves, and they go to the elbow, and there's her leggings which are white, and I have the rare version, the one that comes with the high heel shoes. The later version had sneakers, which is kind of dumb because who is going to wear sneakers to a masquerade ball? And I still, I still have her earrings too. She came with a pair of earrings, but I don't know where those are at right now, but I do have her little mask, and I'm going to put it on her. Well, first I'm going to go over it. Her mask has got like swirly designs on it, and it's got a rhinestone thing right there. It's got a few little rhinestones there. It's got like winged out designs on it. It's really amazing. But I'm going to put it on her real quickly. So that you can see it on her. I'm sh pretty sure everybody knows what it looks like, but I'm still going to do it. Okay, and there she is with her mask. I just love how it's... Uh, this outfit is just so Avery. I mean, it goes with her lips and her eye color and the white kind of goes with her platinum hair. 
But anyhow, that is my review on the Moxie Girls Masquerade Ball Avery doll. Like I said, I know nobody's really that into Moxie Girls, but I love them. And I wish they still made them. But anyhow, that's my review, and I'll be posting more reviews later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.